My name is Higenaga Edo. I'm 101 years old. I was born and raised in Brawley, California. When I first attended my first grade, I spoke no English. I graduated in Oceanside High School. Then the war, World War II broke out. So we were in internment camps for three years. From there, I migrated down to Long Beach. And then when I was married in 1950, I decided to go back to school. So then I started going to USC and became an architect somewhere in the 60s. So I went from a farm boy to a common laborer to truck driving to commercial fishing to draftsman to an architect. So it was fun. I have five children. I have what? Eight grandchildren and four great grandchildren. This is where all my pictures are. The family, my wedding pictures, friends of mine that drew pictures. This is my daughter's in-law that, that drew that picture on. These are both when we were celebrating our 50th anniversary. I like to tinker. I have a garage full of tools. I have things here that was, is probably 60, 70 years old that are still functioning. You know, just because I fix them. When my son wanted uh, a carrier for his jet skis, I, I designed and built uh, just a wire cage that he could slip under the carrier and drag it on shore and bring it home. I climb mountains, I fish deep sea, surf, ocean, lakes, just about anything that's outdoory, I, I will do. I was, I've been a member of the Gaff and Gun Club since 1952. We had to disband because there wasn't anybody else left. I don't know why I've lived this long. I've lost three brothers. So in August, she'll be 103. I have a mother that lived to be 104. My grandmother lived to be 102. So the girls seem to have a slight age over the men as far as living. These, of course, is when we were going on vacation to Ocean Beach when I was still a kid. That's my wife. I think the worst thing in life is stress. It's something that you can't control. And if you can't control and you learn to ignore it or not get to you, then I think that's fine. But uh, eat anything you like and uh, forget about fats and sugar and all the other stuff. I'm a product of the Depression. World War II, Korean War, uh, Vietnam War. There were times when food was lean. We like to order Chinese food and Mexican food. And uh, I probably have one of those every week. And the rest of the time I eat junk. Family. Without family, there's nothing. Your friends pass away. They travel. They, go, they, they, they do their own thing. Your family keeps you from doing a lot of things that you would like to do, but that's life. Uh, you can't have all pleasures and no, no defeats and no hardships. And people pass away and people are born and uh, accept it. I think that's the, the biggest thing that we're losing today is history, family history. Uh, some of the hardships, why you're here, who was responsible for the way you are today. I have family here all the time. New Year's, Christmas, all the birthdays, my birthdays, uh, my wife's birthday, the kids' birthdays, we have a party. Every holiday you can think of, we gather. So we're probably here at least once a month. And then in, the, in, in between, the kids are always visiting. Like last night, my daughter was here. Miles was here a couple of days ago, and he's here today. One of my sons was here last Sunday. There isn't too many days that I'm by myself, and uh, that's family. And that's the only thing that matters.